Hi guys, it's Tuesday, and you know it's Dan and Dirty Woodscraft. Okay guys, today we're going to talk about, I'm going to tell you straight up it's a trick, okay? This is going to be a hard trick. It works, absolutely works, but it's going to require practice on your part to get it right because it requires the skill of a woodsman to make this work properly every time to where you make it look easy. But I'm going to tell you, it ain't easy. Because you got to do a lot of thinking and a lot of regulating to make it happen. Okay? You ready for it? We're going to bake in a Dutch oven. Actually, you're going to do it. But we're not going to bake in the conventional way you've seen. Now you've seen Dave Canterbury and everybody else. This is one of the Pathfinder bush pots that I'm very happy with. But they take it and they put it in the coals like this. They open it up and they slide a screen in like that and they put it in there, put the lid on, and they set it in the coals and put the back to the fire and they cook in it. And it does absolutely work that way. There's another way. One, you got to make sure your lid is a good snug fit. If not, I've done a video on that on the bush pot about how to take a hammer and tap and make it snug fit a little bit better so when I turn it upside down it don't fall off. Remember these handles back here? Notice that balance point right there, that little bitty nick right there? Well, I'm going to rig up a chain hook right there. And I'm going to hang this over a fire rather than putting it in the fire. This is a slow baker, okay? Why did I say it's got to be from a woodsman? You've got to control your fire very carefully. Okay, you're going to build your fire and you're going to let it go down the coals. And you're going to do the old Boy Scout trick of holding your hand out there. At X distance above the coals and you're going to count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. If you get to 4,000, it's not hot enough. If I get to 2,000 and I can't hold my hand that heat any long, that's too hot. But how sensitive is your hand? You see what I mean? You've got to do the work. But the game here is... I'm going to take this and I'm going to put in here on the bare bottom. I'm going to grease it. And I'm going to put biscuits or something in there or something I want to bake or cook laying down there. You know them square pizzas you pick up at the grocery store that you throw in the oven and they tell you, you can't put them in a microwave? Those. Bow it. Sit it in there. Put a piece of aluminum foil across the top and seal it up. Have a seal up so there's no heat loss going on. Skeeters. And by hanging it 18 to 24 inches varying, and this is a tripod set. This is where I got to vary it. As my fire flares up and I build my fire, I bring it up. As my fire dials down, I bring it down. I want to keep this in the go zone. Whatever that heat I'm looking for is zone. And then about every 25 minutes, I'm going to pop it open and take a look. Put it back and put it back. It's a slow baker. Okay. Now, what can you cook that requires slow? Well, it's the same thing when I got it hanging like this up there and I'm trying to simmer it. Okay. Baking requires heat and time. High heat, short time. Low heat, long time to get the same exact effect. Some would argue slow heat tastes better because it allows it to fully rise, do breads and stuff like that. I remember a gentleman many years ago that used to do this very method, but he had a hook that he had rigged up on an old um, coffee can with a lid he had made for it. And he would take and hang it up like that above a tripod, on a tripod above a fire, and he would bake breads in it. He didn't care if it took four hours. He would just keep a, a small, low fire going where that column of heat was going up around it. And he was some of the, I mean, the best buttermilk biscuits and the, the best um, dough-made rolls you ever had. But he did it really slow. He said that was the secret to it. He'd make sure he had plenty of his stuff in it as far as the baking powder, baking soda, and etc. But he took the time to be slow. And that's going to require skill. This ain't a quickie. So, guys, this is an advanced one when you can hang it up in the heat column, not in the flames, not down in the coals, but that heat coming up and let it take 30, 45 minutes, whatever, 
and you can regulate a fire well enough to keep it, not burn it, and cook it, that's the mark of a woodsman. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below and get out and try it. Now's the time. It's fall. Now get out and enjoy. We made it through summer. Till next time, guys. I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.